Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some frequently asked questions about the Dado 2. Questions such as what uh, what is the difference between the Dado 1 and the Dado 2 and what are the power differences between both machines. We are joined also by Matt, product specialist here at Freeform. How are you Matt? I'm good Jack, how are you? I'm not too bad, not too bad myself. Right, should we just get into the questions? Absolutely. What is the Dado? What, what is it? The Dado is a compact laser welder uh, great for small workshops, great for jewellery repairs, jewellery manufacturing. So many applications the Dado is great for. Uh, what are the capabilities of the Dado? So the Dado 2 has a lot of different capabilities in different industries, but for the jewellery industry, um, that start with manufacturing. So the first thing that Dados are great for is tacking before soldering. Then in terms of filling in porosities on casting, so any pinholes, you're getting anything cast, you, you want to be able to fill those in quickly rather than say sending it back to get recast, which could then take another week, slowing everything down. On the repair side of things, there's so many things that Daddy 2 can do. So you're talking about re-tipping, re-chlorine, resizing rings, especially platinum without getting any solder lines in there. Uh, then jump rings, bolt rings, chains, anything there you don't want to heat the piece up, so costume jewellery, uh, working right next to stones with the stone in place, no problem at all. It means you're not unsetting the stone and maybe a claw breaks, then your, your simple repair turns into a really complicated repair. And especially going back to chains again, chains you can do, fix a chain and just heat that one link, rather than heating the whole chain that you then have to pickle and do all of these polishing aspects for, you can just do one link, job done. In such a small machine, it covers so many different areas. Absolutely, well. so yeah. That's, that's, that's incredible. Um, so obviously it can cover so many jobs, but what are the differences? Obviously this is, this, this is version 2, yeah. 2.0. What is the differences between the Dado 1 and the Dado 2? So the Dado 2, firstly, has 50% more power, which is a big thing, especially when you're working on silver. So silver is really conductive. So when you fire the laser at the metal, it dissipates the energy out rather than holding it where you fire it. So you do need that extra bit of power, and that's what the Dado 2 has. Um, so you're, you're doing something like a resize it is a lot easier on silver than it was on the, the original version. It's also got 25 power settings instead of 12, so it's a bit more versatile. So um, if, if anyone's used a Dado 1 and a Dado 2, you'll often find that the power 1 on the Dado 2 is actually lighter. But that's really good because it means those finer jobs are that much easier. The next difference is speed of firing. So you can, the Dado 1 fired at one shot per second. The Dado 2 has the ability to fire at one or four shots per second. So again, talking about resizes, you're gonna get through that job so much faster by being able to fire at four shots per second. What metals can you use on the Dado 2? Is it good for silver? Because obviously laser welders can sometimes struggle with silver. So. It, it's better for silver, absolutely. So that, that extra bit of power makes a big difference. So. Um, your your jump rings and things like that will be so much easier. You find you won't have to use the black marker quite as often. I still recommend using it because um, it will make a really consistent weld. Um, but yeah, you can use any metals really. So titanium, gold, platinum, steel. Titanium you do need argon gas for. Um, you can buy a kit to be added to the machine. You do need to pre-order it with the machine as well. Um, what that will do is when you first press the pedal, it will fire a shot of argon over the job and then when you press the pedal again it will fire the laser and that will mean it's not going to spark because that, that's the main issue with titanium with oxygen inside the chamber it will spark and it, I, it, I have tried it once it lights up like fireworks so it's definitely really important to use that argon with titanium but other than that it, it can do all metals costume jewelry um, so brass again going back to steel so it's great for watch, uh, watch repairs, watch polishing, watch making. Give us a rundown of each part of the, uh, of the Dado and what it does essentially. Yeah, so we've got a few things to consider. Obviously you've got the microscope. This is a 10 times microscope. Um, so it's gonna, you're gonna get really close in on everything. You can see it really clearly. So just inside the chamber there, you've got a black dial. Um, that'll be to firstly turn the machine on, but also then change the power of the machine. So. Um, you may have heard about the phone app that comes with the Dado, um, easily downloadable Android and Apple, and that is your display of power. But if you don't want to have a phone on all the time, you don't need to. That's the great thing about the, about the Dado too. So you can use the color change inside the chamber. So the machine will always turn on on power one, which will be like a lime green color, 
And then as you go through, it will go to a sort of duller green, a yellow, an orange, then a red. Um, and that's your starting from gr lime green, which is low power, red, which is high power. Um, another parameter you can change is the beam size. Um, so for, for most jobs, I'd say you want to use a small beam because you want to make a nice strong join. When you can open that beam, that beam up to sort of smooth the job over, basically. Um, so like in laser welding, often when you're doing the job, it can be a little bit messy, like mo a lot of processes, but you can don't need to worry about that. You can do the cleanup after using that bigger beam. And that is just a sort of a dial on top of the chamber. So as you're looking at the machine, you move it furthest away from you for the small beam, closest to you um, for a larger beam. A lot of the time, I only really bring it back a touch, just a little bit, just to open it up a little bit. You don't really need to go all of the way. So yeah, just inside the dado chamber, um, on the right hand side on the back wall, you'll see a little slit inside the chamber, and that is what your water tank is. Well, you want that to be about three quarters of the way up. Um, if if it's a little bit low, you can top it up, but you only need to check that sort of once a year. It's a very sealed container. It's not all going to evaporate very easily. So um, if you check that once a year, you'll be absolutely fine. Obviously, you've talked about the water tank. What sort of water does the Dado take? Is there needs, any special water? Yeah, it needs deionized water. Okay. Um, most jewelers have it for steam cleaners and things like that, but it's available for most hardware stores as well. And obviously, let's talk about the size. It's You've mentioned before as well uh, that it's a very small and can fit in most most small workshops. Yeah. What, what are the actual dimensions of the machine? Um, so it's 34 by 34 by 34 centimetres and then it's sort of about 15 centimetres for the for the microscope on top of there. Um, you always need something when you're using the Dado in terms of comfortable workspace it's always best to have a chair that sort of will lift you a little bit higher because you want to look down the lenses. You don't necessarily want to look square on with them because you won't see what everything you need to see. Um, so yeah, just to consider your workspace a little bit. So when actually doing a job on the Dado, let's yeah. say I want to, I'm trying to resize the silver ring. Yeah. What, what sort of settings would I use? Or what, what if I want to do a gold jump ring? How would I know what settings? So in, in the pack, in the, when the machine arrives, you'll get a guide. It's a suggested guide um, of how, what power you should use for different jobs. But the key thing for me is don't use that as gospel necessarily. Just start low on the power and add power until you're getting the result that you want. That's the easiest way to work on, on the Dado and, and to be honest, any laser, is, is just to start low, keep adding power until you're getting the desired result. So when using the machine, can I hurt myself in any way? Can I damage myself? Like what, what are the risk factors? It's extremely low risk. Firstly, when you're 10 times zoomed in, you can see everything so clearly. Um, so, so you're going to be able to see where you're firing. But you do get yourself, I've done it lots of times, it's like a hot pinprick. It's no permanent damage, no long lasting damage. There's really nothing to worry about. But then you've always got tweezers. You can use pliers. Um, you can use speed wire to hold your wire, which will really help um, not get yourself. So there's a lot you can do to avoid getting yourself. Let's move on. Let's say I want to purchase a Dado from yourself, from Excellent. ourselves, I should say, free from fabrication. First question I would want to ask is, does the machine come with a warranty? Absolutely. Yeah, it comes with a warranty, two-year warranty, and that covers everything on the machine except for the flash bulb, which is the only consumable. That should last on average five million shots. So you've got plenty to work with there. If the flash bulb is faulty, then we'll change it still as well under that warranty. Uh, is there uh, an offer for an extended warranty? By any there is, yes, yes. Details all on our website. Perfect. So let's say I've got a Dado 1 or even a Dado 2 and I want to trade up to a larger laser. How do I go about that? Yeah, so Freeform is the only supplier that offers their customers a growth plan. So when you need a bit more power or you need a bit more functionality, we'll take your old unit and give you some credit towards your new one. Obviously, Freeform Fabrication, we're based in the UK and also we have customers in Ireland and all over the world. But let's say uh, a customer on this lovely video watching wants to buy and is international and want to buy a Dado from us. Is that possible? Yes, absolutely. We are able to sell Dados anywhere in the world. Perfect. Nice, simple answer. You made a great pitch to me so far, Matt. Thank you. But I'm still a bit unsure. I want to test the machine out for myself. Yeah. Can I book a demo? Absolutely. Yeah, we can do demos in your workshop. You can demo here in Hertfordshire at Freeform's headquarters. You can come to a traveling workshop and you can see us at a trade show. So we're, we're everywhere, we're available to do demos. Um, also online, 
So um, there's lots of information on, online about the Dado. So with the Dado, does it come with any sort of accessories or add-ons? Um, so there are some accessories available, short tweezers, um, which will help sort of use the machine really comfortably. Uh, we've also got a speed wire, um, which means you can hold the wire a lot more comfortably rather than sort of trying to fiddle with trying to hold the wire and bend it into the right position all the time. The last accessory we have for the Dado is the ring light. Um, so you've got three magnets on the back there. It sticks up on the roof of the chamber just to make the chamber that little bit more brighter. Um, some people prefer it, um, some people don't, but it, it's there for you if you need it. So let's, you've convinced me. I bought the machine. Excellent. <laughs> what sort of aftercare support do you offer? So our after sales support starts before you even receive your machine. So all the machines that arrive to us, we get them all out, we thoroughly test them, and make sure they're working up to our standards. Once then you receive the machine, um, we'll give you a call in the first couple of days. Make sure you're happy with it, make sure it's all set up, it's got everything it needs. Then we're available in normal office hours, Monday to Friday, and you'll be able to just ask far away with any questions you might have. Um, we've got videos online, um, we have expert consultants, then we'll call you not just after the, when it's first arrived, but also six months down the line. Again, just to check that you're happy with your machine, that you've got no issues, that you, you know, everything is working exactly how you want it and that it's, the, your investment is paying off. So I've got the machine, you offer a great after sales package, I'm still not 100% confident on the machine though. Okay. Do you offer training? Absolutely. We've got different levels of training as well. So if it's, say, just a certain technique that maybe, you know, 95% you're happy with, or maybe you're just not 100% sure you're doing it the correct technique, we offer traveling workshops. So we travel, again, we talked about it earlier, where you can come and demo the machine, but it's also not just for us to see new clients. It's also to see our current customers at the same time. So what we want to make sure is that you can come to this session um, it's a half day session with our uh, Laser Welding Academy tutor, Paul Payne. Then we've got full training days at Freeform. So um, we'll set up, we'll have all the machines. You'll have the machine you actually have. You're not going to have to sort of figure out on another machine. You're going to have the machine you have. Um, and we're going to cover everything. So jump rings, bolt rings, chains, um, prosody repair, uh, then retipping, reclawing, resizing. Then we're also going to have time to do a bit of your own work at the end of the day as well. So you're going to, you're going to have everything that you need um, on that training day. The last one we have is private training. Now something new that we've got is that if you buy the private training at the same time as you buy your, your machine, you get a 50% reduction on that. And that is private training in your workshop for your whole team and um, on your actual machine and on your actual work. So there's, there's nothing better, and for that price, it's amazing. Oh, sounds great. I might just sign up myself. <laughs> All right, I'm trained. I'm fully trained up. I've had my machine for a year now. Does it need a yearly service, though? The Dado won't need a yearly service. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to keep it clean and tidy. You're going to wipe it over, keep it away from the polishing machine, maybe cover it when the polishing machine is on. Um, you wipe out inside the chamber, and there's a... There's a protective disc sort of where the lenses are just to clean that as well. All of those things are going to look after your machine really well. Um, in that first two year warranty, it won't need a service. Um, we don't do unnecessary servicing. We're not trying to overcharge you for a service when, when it doesn't need it. Um, the flash bulb that's in there, like we talked about earlier, lasts on average five million shots. We're not going to change that every year. It doesn't need to be changed. It's wasteful and it's costing you money. So we just want to make sure that we, we are looking after your machine, but it doesn't need that annual service. If you do those things that we, that we talked about, keeping it clean and tidy, your machine's going to be running well. Right, you've come to my workshop. You've convinced me. I'm going to purchase the machine. Excellent. Don't have the cash flow right now. Are there leasing options? There are leasing options available, um, so longer term leasing, two, three, four or five years. Um, there's also shorter term plans as well. Um, just get in touch for more details. Perfect. Well, cheers for answering all those questions, Matt. It was really insightful. You're welcome. You can find all the questions that were asked today in the link in our description that will take you to our website. 
Uh, make sure to like and share and comment on this video. It means the world to us. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.